So, you want to mod Halo. Great. In the last tutorial, I showed you how to install Assembly, the Halo modding tool, and how to open a Halo Reach map file. Today, we'll be doing that same thing, but I'll show you how to take an assault rifle and make it fire rockets. And throughout this, you'll learn how to edit weapon tags, what a projectile tag is, and what an effect tag is. So, let's go ahead and open up Halo the Master Chief Collection. When you do open Halo the Master Chief Collection, make sure that you choose the second option with Anti-Cheat disabled, or else you won't be able to do any mods. So, I've loaded up a custom game on a Forge World map with assault rifles as my main weapon, and as you can see, my assault rifle is currently very normal. So let's pause the game, and let's open up Assembly. Go to wherever you installed Assembly to, and open the program. Once you have Assembly open, go ahead and click Open Content File once again, or File Open. And we're going to the same directory as before, from the last tutorial where I showed you where all of the map files are, click Forge underscore Halo, aka Forge World. Now once again, we'll go ahead and click Tags here. And since our goal is to find the assault rifle through all of these immense amount of tags, we'll search right here at the top, Assault. Now of course there are many different things labeled as Assault, including the Assault Bomb, Assault Objectives, and all that stuff. We'll go to the bottom where weapons are, the WEAP tag, aka the weapon tag, and we'll find the tag instance of Assault Rifle. Most people will just call this a tag though. Once we found Assault Rifle, we're going to have to find, throughout all of this, the projectile that the Assault Rifle shoots. So there's a lot of stuff here, and it all does some pretty useful and unique things, but we're going to go to the top search bar since we already know what we want. Projectile. So after searching projectile, we'll find all kinds of different results. We're going to click the next button on the search until we find what we're looking for. All right, this is it right here. We see projectile, it says the tag type projectile, and we see the selected projectile is an assault rifle bullet. Perfect. Now we're going to choose assault rifle bullet here, and we're going to change it for something else. I found my option right here, the rocket launcher projectiles, rocket launcher rocket. Perfect. We'll click it. No changes have been made yet. If the game was closed, I would be able to permanently save it. But if I tried that, I would get an error because the game is currently open. So I'll click poke. Poke will modify the game in real time without making permanent changes to the file itself. Now when I fire, as you can see, I'm firing rockets, which is totally awesome. So that's how you change a projectile. But there is something I want to change still. If you notice, the sound and the muzzle flash from my gun is still that of an assault rifle's. It sounds like I'm firing assault rifle bullets, and it looks like it too. So we're going to change something else now. Let's go ahead and pop back into assembly really quickly, and click the X on the search so that not everything is grayed out. Let's scroll down. Right below the projectile, you'll find this block, or this box here, called firing effects. What we're looking for here is the main firing effect. Now if you notice, this tag type that is referencing is EFFE, -E, which is short for effects. This tag type is what all the explosions are, what all of the different various audio and sound effects in the game are controlled by. And as you can see, it's the assault rifle firing effect. Now if I were to click this, there is a whole lot of effects in this map and it would take forever to search through manually. So instead of clicking the drop box, I'll click the little search button right here. What I'm looking for is a rocket launcher, so I'll search rocket. I'll look through here and, aha, the weapons rocket launcher firing effect. We'll click OK and we'll poke once again. And when we fire the gun again, much better. Now it sounds like we're really firing rockets and it kind of looks like it too. This is awesome, and this is what modding is all about. So, now we've learned how to swap out an effect tag on a weapon and a projectile tag on a weapon. Pretty much anything can be swapped out for anything else. However, this is not saved yet. So if I were to leave and come back, none of this would save because we only poked it. So, I'll move assembly to the side, leave the game, and in order to permanently save this to my Forge world, I'll have to now click Save and whatever tag I have open will be saved. In this case, the assault rifle.weapon tag is saved. 
So that is how you make modifications to weapons. If you found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like. And if you would like to watch more of these tutorials in the future, please subscribe to my channel and you'll get notified when I upload a new video. That's all for this tutorial though. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you look forward to my future tutorials. Goodbye.